Now they're all discussing my nose. Of course they are. They're frisky tonight. I'm gonna do the whole bit like this. Well, now you make it. Now you make it. It's like we're doing a drinking game now. <laughs> well, they're all discussing my nose now, so now I'm self-conscious. So I'm gonna do a whole bit like this. They can all look at the hippo ring. <laughs> okay, so are we are we ready to to be? Silly and stuff and such. Yes, I think so. We're not, but we'll say we'll pretend like we are. Okay. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a segment we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And actually, Catherine did not do it tonight. She's busy with people and stuff, so we had other people go out and do the research, and they. <sighs> yeah, they found stuff. God, well, good, because otherwise we'd be sitting here filling time. Okay, so have you ever seen those, uh, those, those, uh, place when they do put people on a line to go search for someone who's missing and they just walk up and down in the woods and whatnot because they can't? Yeah. Find. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's something you do to help someone. It's, it, you feel good about doing this sort of thing because, you know, you're helping out, you may be helping someone out. Um, and that is kind of helping for the sake of feeling good is kind of self-interest. But this woman took it a bit too far. A missing woman unknowingly joined search for herself. A woman who was reported missing from an Icelandic tour joined a search for herself. The woman described as Asian, about 160 centimeters in dark clothing and speaking English well, was listing as missing Saturday. Uh, search continued through the weekend with reports saying she got off the tour bus and never returned. It turns out the woman merely changed clothes during the bus stop and after she returned, oh boy, those on the bus didn't recognize her. Wow. And I bet you anything, someone on that bus started to utter the phrase, but they all look alike. You just know that happened, and hilarity ensued, by which I mean sharp, pointy things. Um, but here's where it gets weird, but when the description of the missing woman was circulated, apparently the lady who changed her outfit didn't recognize the description of herself, so she joined the search party. Eventually, after 50 people searched the area in vehicles on foot with a helicopter ready to assist, Eventually, it occurred to the, quote, missing woman that she could very well be the person everyone was looking for and probably report herself as safe to the police. Didn't anybody know her name? I like, guess. the tour company didn't say, oh, well, here's the name of the person on the ticket. Where's Bertha? I guess not. I guess How does not. that happen? How do you not have a, a like... <laughs> A manifest of who's on your tour or something. Well, I guess, I mean, if you just buy, like, those New York City tour buses, if you just buy a ticket and get on, it's not like they ask for names, so I guess that makes sense, but... I'm, I'm less concerned with that, with the fact that it took until the point they had 50 people out there, vehicles, about to get in the helicopter, that's when it went, wait a second, that's when the light came on. Wait a second. Did they describe the clothes she was wearing at the start? Because that would be a tip-off, you'd think. How do you not recognize a description of yourself? Well, I don't know. I, mean, I guess if you're kind of nondescript looking, like, I, I would find it easy. Because they'd be like, really tall bitch with really crazy red hair. Like, in my, in my defense... Kind of looks like a lighthouse. I'd be like, oh, that's probably me. I'm cool. It's good. In, but, in my defense, you know, they just go, we're looking for fat Jesus, and... No, Fat Jesus was last week. That's right. That's right. Silly me. How uh, tall is the chariot? Is five nine? Someone was asking if I had stare into your soul, hippo. Yes, I do. Why do you just like pop these up in the middle of the show here? 
someone asked for it. And I happen to have it next to my chair. I have safari hippo who's here too, but... Someone asks you to jump off a bridge. Do you pull out a hippo then? Or something? I would probably pull out a hippo then, rather than jump off a bridge, because I'm really afraid of heights. So, um... Serendipity is a fun thing. It, it's when all the it's stars sort of... Movie. What? It's a terrible movie. It's a terrible movie, but... In the really real world, when all the stars line up and, and, and things happen just right, you call it serendipity, and it's wonderful. And for us, we have, on this show, we have our own kind of serendipity. And it's this. It's this. Um, allegedly drunk driver slams into cruiser during a separate DUI stop. Sorry, as this from Salt Lake City. Wow. Started out as a traffic stop for someone allegedly driving under the influence, but it quickly turned into something much more serious when a Salt Lake City police officer was pulling over a driver, another vehicle crashed into his cruiser. Early Saturday morning, the uh, officer pulled over a driver he suspected to be intoxicated. The officer called for backup at a second car arrived. Uh, both police car I can't talk. Both police cars were parked uh, with their lights flashing when another car coming southbound rear-ended the backup police cruiser. One cruiser was told, the other had some serious damage. On top of that, they ended up arresting the second driver on DUI charges as well. Okay. When you're drunk, it's hard to focus on things. Things get a little blurry. But if you're going down the road and you're having trouble driving because you're drunk, why are you aiming for the flashing blue lights? Because you're drunk and it seems like a good idea at the time. That's never a good idea. I don't care how drunk you are. Even in a Kmart, you never aim for the flashing blue light. Don't you? Isn't that doesn't that mean it's cheaper? Yeah, and that's not a good thing in a Kmart these days. Why not? I don't have a Kmart near me, so I don't know how Kmart works really. They've gotten kind of awful. Oh. They they they, they have gotten They've, they've, yeah, they've gotten, they've, they've gotten, yes. It's. So the blue light special is not a good thing anymore? Well, to put it this way, we had a, what they called a super Kmart here, which was three times the size of a regular Kmart. So mm -hmm. we, we called it the KKK Mart. Of course you did. Of course. We did. But this, of all the things to happen, this is one of those two for the price of ones you really don't want. Yeah, like, wow. I mean. What are the chances? Cops job is easier when they just come to you. I know, right? We didn't have to find this guy. He just showed up. Did fuck up the car, though. I wonder if he posted to Facebook that he was driving drunk on his way. But it could possibly be. An issue there. I Maybe wouldn't that's why he hit them. Maybe he wasn't aiming for the blue flashing lights. Maybe he was texting. I am so drunk, dude. Had the entire fucking road. So many other things he could have done. He could have even just kept going straight, but no. He veered. Yeah, and I imagine if you're drunk enough, you're gonna turn like like, there's a part of your brain that eventually is just, like, when every other part of your brain is shut down, there's part of your brain that's just, like, fucking part insect that's, like, bright light, bright light, and knows nothing else. And if he was drunk enough, maybe he was just, like, ooh, shiny. I, I, you, you didn't major in biology, did you? No, I majored in art. Is there not that insect part of our brain that just likes shiny things? Because I like shiny things, even when I'm not drunk. Okay. So, we have a Florida, and of course it's... You. This is slowly becoming your purview, actually. Which is... is you've, got, you've got a niche. Um, when you see the story, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I don't even have to set it up any further than that. I'll, I'll just let it speak for itself. 
There you go. From Ocala, Florida. Not the best place to burglarize van from an Ocala Police Department parking lot. <sighs> All KOB J. Smith wanted was money for a soda. Instead, he got a ride from Officer Mark Crandall to the Marion County Jail uh, after the police caught the 18-year-old hiding in a wooded area not far from one of the district offices. I was looking for money to buy a soda. I didn't realize where I was. Um, he All he wanted was a Pepsi. Just a Pepsi. And they wouldn't give it to him. He, uh, the, the police noticed the man walking around in Poi's personal vehicle in the parking lot. They, then he saw the man, later described as Smith, entering the minivan. The veteran detective, who was in charge of the, the district's property crime detectives, called the employee who told him nobody should be in her locked vehicle. Um, Smith saw Spicer and ran, ran to a wooded area. He was charged with auto burglary and petty theft. And yet he, his, his defense... All I wanted was money for a soda. Was was he drunk? Did it say? I'm, I missed that bit. I don't. No. I didn't see drunk in there. Uh, apparently, no, not drunk. Just stupid. Oh, good God! At the very end, it's not the first time Smith has been arrested. Just last week, he was charged with misuse of nine one one after police say he called authorities to tell them. A car was on fire. I think it's obvious what's happening here. This guy, this guy has kind of a crush on somebody at the PD and is desperately trying to get their attention. How is However that obvious? He He's watched one too many romantic comedies and thinks that doing illegal stalkery shit is going to make someone fall in love with you. And so he's doing illegal stalkery shit in the hopes of winning the attention and affection of some ridiculously hot cop. How does that fall into any definition of obvious? I don't know. I think it's kind of obvious. I did not go there. I'm just thinking, well, this guy's an imbecile. But you know, do stupid shit for the attention of girls. We covered this last week. I come up with he's an imbecile. You've a, you 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 are are pitching a, a film with 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 you know. J Lo and the lead. Yeah, Will yeah. Smith and J Lo as the sassy cop. He's yes. trying to win the affection of. We could make that movie. Hollywood would make that movie, and you know it. That is the sad state of Hollywood. They would make that fucking movie. Yeah, they would. They would make. It. They would. With three sequels, they would mm -hmm. make that movie. I. <laughs> You'd think after just getting arrested, I. I I, I, I well, hate... said he didn't know where he was, if... which is concerning to begin with, because police departments tend to look very penal, what with the police cars around and all that. So that's a bit of a concern that he didn't realize he was at the PD. You know, I'm not a big Jim Carrey fan, but there is one moment in Liar Liar that has stuck with me when we do this. God, it's, I haven't seen that movie in so long. Especially when things like this happen. And it's this. STOP BREAKING THE LAW, ASSHOLE! Yeah. Pretty sure that that, that, that that covers it for me. Speaking of stop breaking the law, this is New Hampshire. This is kind of amazing. Um, have you ever called uh, the cops on your neighbors for noise? No. I have. I have I have a neighbor who I'll tell you, I've learned the baseline of bad romance just by having it thumped through my wall. I can tell the song. That's my fucking neighbor. Um, but Don't you, know, you live in a freestanding house? Yes. How is that possible? He's got a huge Like I live in an apartment, so that wouldn't be hard, but He's got a huge goddamn speaker. Wow. But Are you sure you don't actually live next door to Lady Gaga? I was able to That would be pretty fucking amazing. I was able to make that go away with one phone call. This woman took a little more deterrence from New Hampshire. Woman oh, arrested. Yeah. 
four times in 26 hours for loud music and just the cherry on top, assault. And I like how the pick the progression of the mug shots. The last one, she's just like, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, she's, no. she's going on the big screen there. The first one, she's a little stunned. The second one, she's like, really? The third one, she's like, the finally, it's like, okay. Is I want the record yet. I wonder if the guy behind the camera was at this point. They, they, oh, give us a smile. Come on. <laughs> Let us see a smile. So. Joyce Coffee of Epping, New Hampshire, just didn't seem to get it or care when she was arrested four times in 26 hours earlier this week. Police run ins stemmed from loud ACDC and Guns N' Roses music. Police say she could be heard blasting from her house, as well as Kofi allegedly throwing a frying pan at her nephew. Ooh. At least she wasn't blasting like one direction. You're all glitchy all of a sudden. Let's fix this. Something, yeah, something is wrong with Tara's face. Yeah, you're all pixely. Oh, where do we start? You're a glitch in the matrix. Uh, all right, let me, should yeah. I shut off my video? Yeah, and... I'll bring you back. There you go. Come on. There we go. Now you're fine. Fucking okay. Skype. We've got to now get... Now it's just the normal things that are wrong with my face. We've got to get Google Hangouts working, damn it. Anyway. Yeah. Police said they, uh, first time, they first visited Coffee's home on Tuesday. They warned her to turn down the music. They returned an hour later, found the music was still playing, and arrested her. She was released on $500 bail, but they had to return to the home five hours later. Again, because of a report about loud music, she was arrested around 9.20. She was then released on $1,000 bail. <laughs> but a mere four hours later, yet another loud music complaint. At this point, the police arrested for third time, and she was released on $10,000 bail. Please say Where is she getting this money? I know! Five hundred fine. Ten thousand dollars just sitting the fuck around, just in case. Five hundred fine. Thousand fine. Ten thousand fine. I want to play my tunes. I mean, I can see coming up with five hundred or a thousand. It's not easy, but I can see you being able to do that. But ten grand? Who the fuck just has that sitting around? Besides, like drug dealers and stockbrokers. Police said they heard ACDC's Highway to Hell, as well as music from the group Guns N' Roses, coming from home during their first four visits. The final call, Coffee's home. She was reported of domestic disturbance. Uh, Coffee's nephew alleged she threw a frying pan at him, hitting him in the head when he tried to get some of his belongings from the house. She was arrested a fourth time, and a judge ordered her to undergo a mental health evaluation. <laughs> Well, in her defense, you can't listen to ACDC and Guns N' Roses on low volume. That's kind of, that's just... Headphones! Headphones! Then, you know, then you run the risk of damaging your hearing. <laughs> I, I... I sent you a link, but I don't know if you're going to want to do it. I, okay, we, we can look at this one. I don't like covering the death stories. I really I don't. I know. Like, the dude died, but it's right in our wheelhouse, so it's like, eh. This guy... I've got to at least mention it. Because... Ah. Uh. Now, this... this is, Okay, well, yeah, you know what? This is a comedy site. You realize is this. it? Crap. Yes, it is. The Hang guy, on. the guy who who shoved ten pounds of bacon up his ass. That's yeah. Not a, that's not a real thing. It's not. It's not. Oh, okay. The the very fact that they have the comical R.I.P. Joshua social media intern bacon lover graphic should have maybe been your your. No, because I saw it somewhere else. I, and that's not the site I originally saw it on. Mm. Oh, well. I think it is a real thing. I'm... I'm sorry to...
Let's find- alright, someone find me some corroboration on this and we'll get back to it, because... Yeah, this is breaking news for us, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did a guy shove ten pounds of bacon up his ass? We'll find out! Alright, let's- let's see here. Apparently, it was for some kind of internet prank, and he died, but, I mean, I don't know if it's real or not. Maybe yeah, not. This one's referencing the same modern primate site, which, you know, this looks yeah. like a, Yeah, I'm- I'm not- not prepared to call this a real thing. Okay. No, no. Let's see, and- and let's see, here's another link, and I bet you anything, it's- it's going to reference the same site. Well, let's go to ye old Snopes. And, yes, it's referencing- they're all referencing the same website. All of them. This is- okay, this is just a little behind the scenes here. We actually do check these things, to the best of our ability. We try to track them back, and we try to avoid the hoaxes and such. We do do this. So when someone says, hey, I got this story, guy shoved 10 pounds of bacon up his ass, that's a really too good to be true sh for us, which is awful to say because that should not be too good to be true. That should be bad to be, but for us, yeah. Well, let's hope that it was a total hoax and not true at all. That would, that would be nice. I want to point out that didn't die that way. I want to point out that, uh, people on the channel, uh, who is it? Uh, Karamek in the channel said, why is an internet DJ better at fact-checking than everyone else? Because those other sites everyone was listening were radio stations with DJs who get paid to DJ. Yeah. And they couldn't figure this shit out. But I did in two seconds. Well, you know the internet better. I do. I do. Which, that hurts too. <sighs> this now one is- wasted a bunch of time. This one's actually real. Ann Arbor, Michigan. And, and I can tell you it's real because you know what? We have enough experience to go, yeah, they'll do it. They will fucking do it. Yes. Ann Arbor, Michigan. Man complains to police of prostitute price hike. Police I said. hate it when that happens. Like, you've been seeing the same hooker for years and all of a sudden she ups the rates. That's just crap. That's not the kind of servicing you're paying for. You're just waving a red flag in front of them tonight, aren't you? <laughs> I Man. thought that was last week when I said that I lost weight by beating people up naked. That didn't, that didn't do it. Nothing well. You're just goading them now. Um, police in southeastern Mich Southeast Michigan say a man called to complain that a woman he had agreed to pay for sex unexpectedly increased the price. Uh, police were called to an Ann Arbor home late Wednesday on report of a robbery. Police say the 45-year-old man and 19-year-old Ohio woman he had contacted online had agreed on a price, but the man claimed she upped the, the cost after taking his money. Police say the woman was arrested. This is pissing me off. The man wasn't taken into custody. Well, that's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. Because solicitation... It's a crime. That's a crime, yeah. You agree to pay somebody for sex, they should lock your ass. Ugh. But, you know, always get in writing, people. Yeah. Always get, get an estimate in writing. Get, get a contract. Get, get, a, get a contract. Get, get that signed on the dot. Verbal agreements, they don't really work, especially when part of the verbal agreement is, is garbled by genitals. That's, that's not a... That's, See, no. I wasn't going to go there. I did. <laughs> I, right I was going to be the classy it. one for a change. Just like a beeline right at it. I yeah. Am, I am not the classy one. I, I am not. <laughs> Oral contract has a whole new meeting, but I'm tish. There you go. Ow. <laughs> Hit my ring really hard there. Did you hear that? That was like I way did. louder. I did. My hippo ring turned on me. I will say, you know, it's it's hilarious that we've got this stupid guy in the story, but what's really pissing me off is he didn't get arrested. 
that should piss you off. That's bullshit. Fuck these He's cops. guilty of solicitation. That is a crime. And why the fuck did he? Because because he turned himself in. No. No, he turned himself this in. This isn't. He, th- this isn't a well. We're sure you've learned your lesson. No. This is if you know the rates well enough to know when they went up, get your ass in jail. Even better, he turned himself in by sheer stupidity. Did they feel sorry for him? Maybe. Maybe they were like, you know what? You're already in prison. You're in the prison of that mind. Yeah. From which there is no escape or parole. So you just sit there with your dumbness and be dumb. (laughs) With your dumbness and be dumb. That's that's a life sentence. It kind of is, really. You're, you're not getting away from that. It's like you know, I may be a, I, I I may be I may have a bad haircut, but you're stupid, and I can get a new haircut. <clears throat> that one kind of got away from me. I sucked there. When's the last time you got a haircut? Two thousand three. Yeah, so that yeah. doesn't really work for yeah, you. I kind of gave myself one today. Which wasn't the best idea. My ends were really fried, though, so I like chopped an inch off my hair by myself. Don't do that at home unless you know what you're doing. The last one tonight. I are I can already see the tagline I'm going with this one for because you ever wondered what those seven herbs and spices were? I thought it was eleven. Eleven herbs. You ever, you ever wondered what they were? Not really. Well, I can tell you what one of them isn't. Cocaine! Cocaine! I saw this earlier today. Hey, you know what it might be? I have had numerous people tell me, I've never eaten Chick-fil-A, but I've had numerous people tell me that they're pretty sure Chick-fil-A contains crack because it's addictive. So the colonel's got to keep up, right? Cocaine might be one of those 11. You don't know. Roasted chickens had an onion. He wears all white. It's from Nigeria. The roasted chickens had an unusual stuffing. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of cocaine, according to Nigerian police. Uh, The mechanic who struggled in Brazil for more than six years had hoped the drugs would buy him a life of luxury in his native land. Um, This was like a retirement plan for him. The accused and arrested over the weekend at the airport in Lagos after he came in from Sao Paulo with five point seven pounds of cocaine photos from the agency showed egg wrap packages wrapped in gold aluminum foil and tucked into the browned chickens suspect cannot immediately be reached for comment um okay the first Best thing dinner party ever like that thanksgiving was gonna be the best fucking party ever in the history of Thanksgivings. <laughs> what, you have to get granny off the ceiling with a broom. But everybody was going to have a killer fucking time. Yeah. Dude, what do you put in the stuffing? It's amazing. We've we've covered this before. What is well, the... Well, they tried to make it look like Snickers bars last time. What is the first thing they check... When you're going through customs. Perishables. Perishables. So really the lesson is can your drugs that you're smuggling. Figure out a way, get a job in a canning factory for a month and can them. Why are we helping them? It's kind of my niche, like you said. Yeah. It's my thing. So that's what you do. You. Go all, go all Bruce Banner in the Edward Norton Hall can get yourself a job at like a canning or bottling factory and seal that shit into a sealed product because they're not going to fucking bust out a can opener and check your canned, I don't know what you would bring in from another country. But, uh, you know. Canned. Um, food stuffs. Canned spam. not. Canned not cocaine. Exactly, and that's what the label should say, too. Not... Definitely not cocaine. Yes. That's what it should say. Oh, okay, random task in the channel. Had it perfect. A can of Coke. There you go! There you go. Excellent. Perfect. You put the cocaine in a, in a can of Coke. And that's it. 
I guess that used to actually be cocaine and coke. That's how it's got its name. It's the real original recipe. Or is that an urban legend? Although I like Epi has, I can't believe it's not cocaine. <laughs> That's kind of a good one too. Yes. But really, geez, how do they check this shit? You can't just... It, it's your cunning plan of shoving things up a dead chicken's butt. You know what? It's better than shoving things up their own butt, which we have covered before as well. Actually, no, I don't think when they do the, 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 the thing, it doesn't go up the butt. It goes in the mouth and comes yes. out the butt later. Because, oh my God, have you ever seen the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? What does this that have movie, to do with things going up a butt? That movie is fucking terrifying. Just see, I don't know how this is a children's movie, but I watched it with my nephew one day and I was seriously goddamn disturbed. The climax of the movie, the machine that makes it rain food gets really out of hand. And like, basically there's this giant anus in the sky that's pooping out giant food. I'm telling you, that's exactly what it looks like. It's a giant black anus in the sky, pooping out giant food. And it's horrifying. So they have to, in order to stop it, they have to like fly up into the giant food anus in the sky and they end up getting attacked by sentient, like mm -hmm. headless chickens that are ready to be stuffed like food chickens. And they get attacked by them. And one of the characters like jumps into one of the chickens and takes it over and pops his head out the head hole. And it's so fucking disturbing. I don't even like I can't even imagine watching this movie on drugs because I was totally sober. My, my nephew thought it was hilarious and I was terrified. I was so disturbed. Yeah, that movie's fucked up. But yeah, the, the, the chicken, there was like an army of those sledgehammer chickens. Anyone who's seen that movie knows what I'm talking about. That movie's fucked up. Okay, so, um... <laughs> uh, what have we learned? I guess we've learned a chicken's butt is not the best smuggling route. N nothing's butt is the best smuggling no, route. No, no. Anuses are not your, your, your path to riches in any sense a, of the word. It's not a bag of holding. Unless you're a proctologist. That's the only way an anus is is a path to riches. Because otherwise, no. Or you're into a very specific niche of porn. Yeah. Uh, it's still, true. It still shouldn't be. Oh, EK, EK in the channel. Let's not get anal about this. <laughs> I hate you now. All the hate. Um, what have we learned this week? We've learned that, uh... Know where you are before you start stealing from cars. Yeah, yeah, because you, you don't, you can't take a mulligan on that one. You can't say, no, it's okay, I just wanted some change. And if you want to win Officer J-Lo's love, just buy her flowers. Um, we, we've learned that sometimes two for the price of one, not always a good deal. Well, it was for the cop. It, well, for, yeah. For, well, maybe not for the car, but... Not you know. for the cars, no. They totaled... It. You know how hard you have to work to total a cop car? No. I do. Never totaled a cop car. I do. No, honestly, I do. Because I drove the same model the cops were driving for a long time. Oh. Uh, Ford Mustang. I totaled, I totaled an Oldsmobile Delta 88, and that's basically a fucking Sherman tank. No, I've, I, I know, I've, I, I got in a bad wreck with a Mustang, so I know exactly how much it takes to total a police car. When do cops drive Mustangs? They, they drive Crown Fix. They did, no, they had Mustangs here, the Purdue, Pursuit ones, they did. Oh, up here it's always been the Crown Vic. We've learned that no good deed goes unpunished, especially if you're an imbecile. <laughs> Ask for a name before you send out a manhunt, for fuck's sake. Yeah. And, uh, know if you're missing. Yeah, and, and, do you know what? If Be you aware whether or not you are a missing person before you join the search. If you can't tell one Asian person from another, get some satellite, watch some Hong Kong t TV, and start no, 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 learning. No, 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 no. It doesn't even work, because if you can't tell one Asian person from another, and you are the Asian person, <laughs> no matter how many times
times you watch Battle Royale, it is not going to help. <laughs> we all look alike to me. It will not help you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, um, and, and, and finally, we learned that, yes, ACDC is indeed some bitchin' tunes, but they don't always have to go to 11. And after the first, what? But they go to 11. And after the first arrest, stop. <laughs> Just, just stop. Because at that... Maybe turn the music down a little after arrest number two. Because at that point, you're just like, I'll give you something to arrest, you know? Maybe, maybe she was just being contrarian. She was like, oh, really? I'll show you loud. I'll show you disturbing the peace. Just for good measure, frying pan. Yes. That, that was the, the horrible... This week, I. And, I can't really do. and we learned you at home learned a little bit of the process here about Radio Dead Air that that when we hear. Yeah, when he we hear that someone has shoved 10 pounds of bacon up their butt. We want to make sure that's accurate because we care. We want to give you. Only the finest in pork in anuses. 